All right, so you guys just seen the combo tutorial of the Pendulum ABC FDK created by Jesse Cotton. It was an amazing, amazing, amazing FDK. We only play like few Garnets, uh, two Cannon Soldier just destroys you with the ABCs. Pendulums make it happen because it's the greatest deck on the planet. Let's go straight into the deck profile, bro. All right, so start off with the only like bad cards in the deck. You got your FDK pieces. But who cares how bad they are when your opponent's just dead turn one? <laughs> no sphere modes, none of that bullshit. They're just dead. And the fact that it's 60 cards, by the way, we're playing 60 card deck. Yeah, this cool. is a 60 card deck because it's uh, a lot more powerful. You can play a lot more of the power cards, plus and cards. You have a lower density of drawing your garnets yeah. like these, which is yeah. really good. Because uh, And at the end of the day, bro, even if you do draw them, they're still level fours at the end of the day. Yeah, like, and it's then, not and like you brick brick. And if you, you draw this, it's very easy to come. We just got a similar yeah. sorceress and a final on field. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are worse, but you can still be fine with them. Yeah. Um, yep, and then we got the, oh sorry, if you draw B actually, you can just, uh, instead of doing the other play, you just don't do the Curious, you just make a, what's it called, a summon source for someone that you can't soldier, link it away, then soul charge it back and you're fine. Yeah. So, and then you got full combo, you just, drawing the A is the one that sucks. Unless you draw two A's, I guess. Uh, then the standard pendulum stuff, we got five DDDs. I've been advocating feeds a lot. They're incredibly good pluses. You can just do so much with them. Um, I always want to draw this card. It, uh, it just makes like every election might free. You can draw a bunch of cards. It's nice. This card is really good for Strict Stars. It's a free summon. Turns it turns any of these into turbo cards and pluses. Uh, Twenty six speed stick is good for Strict Stars. Stopping the burn is just not necessary, but it's just an added benefit you just take. Uh, and then Thomas is good for the pluses. And then we got three dark rooms card is really good and you're one gate zero I like plusing the magical abductors the 60 card variant plays a lot more spell cards this card is really good you draw this like in dual slides it's just insane yeah. um three servers and two jackals i like this a lot i don't think anything else is necessary the hand trap so many jackals is insane three curtain razors standards are good plus cards standard um, Where's my gazer? Uh, through uh, the magicians, right? Yeah, it is the gazer, okay. Uh, more extenders, really good. And then you've got the rescue hamster, standing for one turbo. And then your mission cards. Uh, these are the best ones. Mm -hmm. uh, this acts as any scale, triggers electric mind, triggers chronograph. And then and this also is the toolbox in itself, and this one is the most powerful one. And then the one ofs. Um, Good scale effects, but one of each of them. Over Dragon, because it's a plus one, plus sucks to draw by itself, and Zanky, because it's a negate and a level seven. Yeah. Also, just so they know the point of the deck, uh, what, what, what's the game plan? Just, just so they know, just so they know. The game plan is three Electromites. Three Electrum, uh, and what do you have to pen summon? So, if you watch the combo videos, you need to summon two sixes and uh, Harmonizing Condition. You're summoning a Beatrice, sending a Soul Charge, and you're making a Light on Palad at Paladin, adding back the Soul Charge. Then you're making a Curious, using your entire field, sending a Cannon Soldier. Soul charging everything back, making a summon sorceress, copying Tomb Cannon Soldier to get a B from the deck, and then your Firewall Cannon Soldier and B is the whole ABC FTK. Proper, proper. Just so they know. So it's really, really easy. All you gotta do is just Yeah, it's very and simple. You're using yeah. the standard ABC FTK from Japan, yeah. except your way of getting to that field is, so is very different. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. instead of playing ABC cards, yes. we're playing good cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one for one, foolish, and three dragon shrines. These are your spell extenders. Um, I really think these cards are really good. This card is not super common, but I like this card a lot. I think, as I said, I think Kepler is amazing, I mean, especially in Strict Star. It's just so much. Um, and even if you discard one random pendulum monster, it's really good. It's a Kepler that doesn't use a normal summon, which often means you have one of the extender. You can just like make Electromite and then also go Hamster. And you just, you have so much pluses. Even if you have two Garnets in your hand, it just yeah. doesn't matter. Um, three alerts for your abductors and just to and get to your other powerful cards. And then you get the six pendulum calls, which discard any multiples you have, make dark room insane. Uh, just get a garnet, it's like, in this deck, we discard garnets, doesn't matter, the soul charge rooms in back up, so yeah. you're fine. Um, yeah, and then you got two contracts here, I think two's fine. Uh, I can argue with one, because drawing that's way, way worse than um, the Kepler. But, and like a lot of people say, you just go Kepler, or this, add Kepler to add this. But you can also just go add Thomas with this, and then add Leonidas yeah. off Electromite yeah. that you send, so. 
Like, you may only need one, but I'm fine with two. And then Soul Charge for the combo, but also yeah. just a good card. Yeah. If you get Ogre or whatever, like Hand Trap, the, this card is just nuts. Yeah. So, yeah. If we just go to Electro, Metaltron, and then bring back two. Yeah, it's just so much. Yeah. Then you make Firewall there, like. Yeah. And then you end with like four in hand, Firewall, a bunch of negates. Yeah. It's all cool. So, we're sticking with the game plan for the Electro Knights. And then for Link Monsters, we have Standard, these two. Yeah. And then for your combo, I'll play Curious and Summon Source first. Alright, so for utility, we have Phoenix as the last Link Monster. Unlike the Exodia FTK, this deck doesn't need as much extra deck space. You don't need to use all 14 cards. Uh, so Phoenix is good, and then you have a lot of other cards you can use as well, besides the range of Link Monsters. And then you get your rank 4s. You've got Tornado and Dweller. Um, Tornado's more just some scared of floodgates and whatever. And it's just an out that lets you grind through like slow matchups, uh, MVP. And the Dweller's like, really good for Zagoki, so... Kind of have to play it right now. Um, it's Exodia by itself. But yeah, you need those to play through hand traps because when you get hand traps, you can only do like smaller pushes. Yeah. Something like Dweller and Azanki or Dweller and Vortex is like your, your standard play at that point. So, yeah, through yeah. hand trap. Uh, and then you got Totem Bird for when you draw your Mad Specters and it's late game. It's like one of the better outs. Um, Beatrice for the combo. Um, and then Eyes Package. Yeah. This is standard and Pendulum at this point. Yeah. And then I like Impel for the combo. Nice. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, Shoutouts to my sponsors, Tiny Sports and Metamats. That's a nice Dante holding a potato playmat here, guys. If you want to order a Metamat playmat, you can look online and search them up. Custom design. Awesome, bro. Thank you so much for that video. That was an amazing deck profile. The combo video is amazing. Make sure to check it out. If you haven't, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.